Oh, golly, he would ask me about Trump. <laughs> oh, my goodness, what a question. I still see his signs all over the place <laughs> going down the road and stuff. So far, so good, I think. You know, I think he's trying to do what he's promised, but the Democrats are really giving them a run around and they're do playing dirty politics, which they always do. So you voted for Hillary? Oh, yes. Yeah. You voted for Hillary, but you, are, you, you think Trump might... I have an open mind. He is our president. I feel like we need to support the office. Obviously, there's been some marches against Trump, and um, it, it's disheartening, but um, I don't think you can blame it all on one person. I, I think it's deeper than that. And he's moving forward, you know, he's getting a lot of things accomplished. Um, I don't know if he's um, the most um, ethical person that we've ever had, but... Am I happy with it? Yeah, I am. But then, you know, there's some that's really, you know, distracting. I don't, I don't like all these investigations. I think it's going to be another Kenneth Starr, where, you know, for Clinton, the first, you know, last four years, it was just constantly, um, you know, being investigated. I'm very happy with his Supreme Court nominee and then of course his initiative to um, reform health care is huge to me. Uh, my husband and I have a very expensive monthly premium with a very high deductible for our health insurance. I think he wants to do a job but I don't think he has a, he hasn't had a support to do his job. I did vote for Trump. I was like it's time for something different. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Just stay off of Twitter. You're the President of the United States. Just stay off of Twitter. <laughs>